Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get over the fear of doing a back handspring and basically just how to do one. So let's get started. Okay, so first you want to be able to tell yourself that you can do this. Um, most people think that they're not strong enough to do a back handspring. You really only need to be able to do five push-ups. So as long as you can do five push-ups, you're good. But being able to do more is definitely great. And honestly, using this method that I learned, you don't have to be able to do a back walkover. But you do need no you do need to know how to do a bridge kickover. Um, so this. And learning how to do a back walkover would be good, but like I said, it's not necessary. So this way that I learned how to do it, you can do with pretty much anything that's in your house. Um, you can use a mat, which is what I'm standing on, like a gymnastics mat, or you can use just a bed mattress and you need some pillows. So yeah. Okay, so the way that I did this is I lined up these pillows on a stack. And I kind of just went through the motions of doing a back handspring over the pillows. So you want to start off with having your hands up so your legs are kind of up against the pillow. Stop falling. So your hands are kind of up against the pillow, or not your hands, your legs. And you want to have your hands up above your head, get down like you're sitting into a chair, throw your hands up and then just roll over the pillows. So like this. And it really does not hurt. Um, it's actually really fun to do. And so you want to do that until you feel comfortable with, with it. So like, try it about 10 times. And then you're going to start off with the same motion. But you're going to do a little hop onto the pillows and then roll over them. So like that. So like that, except you're not gonna stop right in the center. So let me show you that again. And it really does not hurt. Um, you should probably put a pillow right here. So let me get one really quick. Yeah, so put a pillow right here, and you're just going to hop and roll over. And make sure that you put your hands down, too. Okay, so next you're going to do a little bit more of a pop off the ground, and you're going to try and land on your hands on this pillow right here. So you're going to start off in sitting in the standing position with your hands next to your ears. Go down and throw yourself up and have your hands go by your ears. Go over the pillows and try and put your hands right here. So let me demonstrate that. And it's okay if you do put your back down. I know I did for the longest time. And so you're going to do that like 10, 20 times. And then you're going to try taking away this pillow right here. And you're just going to do it again. So hands above your head, then down. Okay, and then once you haven't landed on your hands in a while, start taking away the pillows and doing it again. So take away one pillow at first, and then just go through it again. And then once you get that, where you're landing on your hands, take away another pillow. Do it again. This is where it starts to get scary. Um, I know I find it a little scary because you just feel like you're really close to the ground and you can't do it. Trust me, if you did it over the higher pillows, then you're going to be able to do it over the lower ones. So yeah, just do that again and then take away the last pillow. Take away the second to last pillow, so you only have one pillow. And right there, you pretty much just did a back handspring. 
So take away the last pillow and try it again. And there's your back handspring. Um, so now I'm going to be going over tips to get tips that you're not afraid to do it. Um, this was probably what was keeping me back from doing it um, for the longest time. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a whole bunch of pillows. Um, probably use the same pillows that you did for the other one. But instead kind of make a bed like this. And you're going to step a couple of feet or like a foot away. And you're going to go into the sitting position. And you're going to jump up. Keep your hands next to your head and fall back onto the pillows. So like this. And you just want to do that over and over again. And then what you should try doing is taking away the pillows so you still have the mat and just going back and doing a little pop off of your hands. So like this. And then just do it with your arm swing. And then just keep on doing that higher and higher until you eventually start doing it straight up. And then all you have to do is go back farther. And make sure that you keep your arms locked. Because if you don't, you will fall and probably hurt yourself. And also don't stop. So like when you're right here, don't stop when you're in the middle of jumping back. Because then it'll look like this. Or even worse. And so just don't hurt yourself. Just say that you can do it in your head and you'll do it. That's pretty much how I've done everything. So. And now it's time for my finishing trick. Um, for my finishing trick, I'm going to do a Randolph back tuck. Um, this is actually really easy once you get your Randolph back handspring. And so yeah, let's let's do this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helps. And good luck getting your back handspring.